Hello. And happy 1111. I hope that your day is off to a good start. I hope that you can see and hear me okay. I am still um, experimenting a bit with uh, getting this up and running. I was not able to get live on Instagram as well as Facebook at the same time, but right now we'll be on Facebook and I'll post it to Instagram later. So let's just take a moment and uh, find a comfortable seat. I'm just going to sit in a chair for this one. That's always an option. You don't have to be seated cross-legged on the floor, although that's usually um, kind of the portrayal of meditation. And that is an ideal meditation position. But um, any place where you're connecting with the earth is great. And in this case, I'm going to let my feet do the connecting with the earth. Uh, usually I would be barefoot, but given that it's still a little bit chilly outside, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and keep my slippers on. But I'm just going to press my feet to the earth and I'm just going to take my hands to my knees and close my eyes. And notice how I feel. Notice all the thoughts swirling in my head and just to allow myself for the next 10 minutes to let that go. And begin to deepen the breath, coming back to your breath. Basically, you're kind of letting your thoughts come out of the ethers and you're coming back down into the body and drop the consciousness again from the head to the heart. Bring the left palm to the heart center, right palm over the top. And let's take three deep conscious breaths together just to tune us in. Deep inhale. Exhale through the mouth, let something go. Another deep breath in, drawing earth energy up through your feet. Send down roots through your feet. Send down roots from your sitting bones, even if you're in a chair, down into the earth. Inhaling deeply. Drawing that earth energy up the spine, out the crown of the head, up to the sky. Pause with the breath held in. And then slowly exhale. Again through the mouth, let something go. Take it slowly this time, following the breath, vertebrae by vertebrae, down the spine. Send it back to the earth. Maybe some light from above. Take another deep breath in, draw that earth energy up. And with the exhale, draw the light down. And let that earth energy and that light meet at your heart. Hang on a second, sorry. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. And just stay here with your hands at your heart. Your eyes are closed and rolled up to the third eye and notice how your heart feels today. What are you feeling in your heart? Are you feeling any fear? Are you feeling any doubt, any anxiety? Take a moment to notice it. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, send it out from the heart. Let those things go. Take another deep breath in, this time into the heart, breathing in through the nose. And then exhale nose, let go of anything you don't need. One more deep breath into the heart, this time filling it up with love. Pure, unconditional love. And feel your interconnectedness with the planet, all the people, the animals, the trees, the wisdom that we are one. Exhale. 
you can just stay here and I'm just going to share with you uh, the information about our meditation for today. So today is the first day of the 1111 part of our meditation and this one is going to be kind of a daily freestyle. I'm just going to choose the meditation according to what comes to me in that day. Uh, it could be a mantra, it could be a movement, it could be a breath work, um, it could be anything. That's the freestyle. Um, so yeah, if you want to join us for this every day. And then this will be the one that after this meditation, uh, if I have anything to share, or if you have any questions that you want to post in the comments, or if you have any requests you want to post in the comments, I'll address that after the 1111 meditation. The morning meditation, got off to a little rough start this morning, but we're up and running with the uh, seven minute left nostril breath of fire, the morning practice. That one's going to simplify and just kind of be just that in the morning. No talking, really. And then the evening practice will begin tonight at 7 p.m. with Kirtan Kriya and a sound healing, the chakra sound journey to follow. And, um, and that one will also kind of be the same every day and just kind of do the meditation. Uh, but this one's, you know, like I said, a little more freestyle and a little more opportunity for potential interaction if you're interested. If you have anything you want to share with me, uh, please do so. I would love that. So today, um, I saw something, this meditation for today, for the first day of this 40-day meditation, I think is, uh, is a really good one. This is something that I was inspired to on Monday, something that I actually came across on Facebook uh, with one of my Facebook friends. Um, and uh, she mentioned a book that I have sitting on my night table. And I always think when you have a synchronicity like that, um, you know, there's usually something to it. That's usually a sign. I had just ordered this book. I haven't read it yet entirely, but I read a little bit and I heard this woman speak. Uh, this is by Lynn McTaggart and it's called The Power of Eight. Lynn McTaggart is a writer and uh, scientific researcher and she's actually written a couple other books, a book called The Field and a book called The Intention Experiment. And she has spent a lot of years, probably 20 years, um, studying the power of groups to heal each other and the power of group intention, how powerful that can really be. And so the power of eight is all about that. It's about the idea of, she started out with literally hundreds of thousands of people and she took a very scientific approach. Uh, you know, she had a test group, she had a, a regular group. Um, she wanted to make sure the results were really legit and she got some really amazing results. I believe out of 30 experiments, all but maybe four of those did not have positive results. I think 26 had positive results and then three of the other four that didn't had technical difficulties. So it was basically an overwhelming uh, result that um, when the, these groups focused their intention together, that they could create literally um, near miraculous and miraculous results. And so I heard her in the interview also say that she felt like a good amount of time to do that was 10 minutes for the group intention and to focus on the same thing as a group for 10 minutes. She did it with hundreds of thousands of people, but she also did it with eight people and got very similar results, just as powerful results. So the point being, it doesn't matter how big or how small the group is, and it doesn't really have to be eight. Eight's just a, a powerful number in a lot of different ways, and, and I'm not a numerologist, so I won't get into that, but eight's a powerful number. A group of 12 is a powerful number. You know, maybe your group is two, maybe your group is three. But um, I think this is a wonderful practice for us to, um, to take on right now while we're going through what we're going through. And this is something that we can do remotely. You don't have to be there in person. It would be nice to be in a circle and set a group intention together, but you can also do that uh, thanks to, you know, phones and computers and internet. You can do that uh, remotely and put a group of your own together. So what I would like our group to do today, uh, like I said, I saw this on Facebook friend on Monday, and this friend is a woman who I met um, uh, in Rishikesh at the International Yoga Festival a couple of years ago. Um, I'm not close friends with her, I'm Facebook friends with her, but I have followed her work since we met because I found her to be a very interesting person. Her name is Dana Saray, 
and she's the founder of the Hanuman Academy, which is a wonderful academy in Boulder, Colorado. And they have wonderful online offerings. I believe they have a studio there, but I'm not sure. But I do know they do a Hanuman festival there, um, close to the summer solstice every year that looks really cool as well. And um, so I've just kind of followed, uh, followed her on social media since we met. I like what she has to say, and I love the interviews that she does. She talks to some really interesting people. And so um, I was kind of bummed to see uh, late last summer, she has a 15-year-old uh, a son, same age as my nephew. And um, man, she, uh, she found out that he had leukemia. And so he has been in treatment and chemotherapy since then. So I guess that's probably been six to eight months. And she came on to her Facebook with an appeal and talked about this book on Monday. And he is still in the hospital, but he, I believe, is at the end of his treatments. And he's come through it like a champ. They've shared their journey. They've been very vulnerable and very cool about it. And it's just been very inspiring to see that mother's love and that son's love for his mother. So I thought maybe we could throw our uh, first meditation out to them today. And uh, the meditation she came up with, kind of based on this, um, is very simple. And this is how simple meditation can be. You can choose a couple simple phrases and that becomes your mantra. You close your eyes, you chant it, and there you go. So her mantra is, her son's name is Josh, her mantra is, Josh home safe, immune system strong. Josh home safe, immune system strong. She just wants her boy to come home right now. And I thought it would be really cool if we kind of keep that chant going. She has a lot of people chanting with her on this one. And, uh, you know, it would be awfully awesome if he could come home on the first day of spring tomorrow. It's a great day of new beginnings. And... Um, you know, maybe it can be a new beginning for them. So I'll keep this here, but I mean, I think you're going to pick up on it pretty quickly. So she was just doing Josh home safe, clap, immune system strong. Okay. And uh, let's go ahead and do that with our eyes closed. We'll do it for 10 minutes. And uh, let me just set our timer. Okay, and let's begin. Let me turn this down a little bit. All right, ready? Josh home safe, immune system strong. Josh home safe, immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. See him healed. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. 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 Keep it going. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Josh home safe, 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 immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Let it radiate from your heart. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Just radiate that light of healing. Send it out to Josh. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Josh home safe, immune system strong. Keep it going, Josh home safe, immune system strong. Josh home safe, immune system strong. 
Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Keep going. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Keep going. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Keep coming back to the intention. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. 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 We're over halfway there. Keep it going. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. 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 Immune system strong. Go deep into your third eye, the seat of your intuition, and see him healed. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. 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 Immune system strong. Just a few more minutes. Home safe. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Let the mantra vibrate all through you. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. 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 Immune system strong. Keep going. And through these last couple minutes, see Josh radiating a strong immune system and that immune system healing all those around him so that he changes the world by his healing and by his light. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. 
Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. We're inside the last two minutes. Keep going. And maybe send out some of that healing energy to his mom. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. Josh home safe. Immune system strong. And surround them both with healing light to strengthen their immunity and take care of them. Through this crisis, let him come home. Josh, home safe. Immune system strong. Last minute. Josh, home safe. Immune system strong. Keep going. Josh, home safe. Immune system strong. Josh, home safe. Immune system strong. Josh, home safe. Immune system strong. Josh 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 home safe. Immune system strong. Take a deep breath in. And maybe sweep your arms out to the sides. And up overhead, continuing to hold that intention in your heart. Drop the shoulders away from the ears so you're pulling down on the shoulder blades, rooting down through the feet, rooting down through the sitting bones, that grounding cord going into the earth, reaching up through the fingertips, up to the sky, pulling in light. Pulling in light through all ten fingers, pulling in light through the crown of your head. And let the light and the energy of the earth meet at the heart in the center. Exhale through the mouth. Let something go. Hold the posture and take another deep breath in, reaching up through the fingertips, dropping the shoulders away from the ears. Reach. Sip in a little more air. A little more. Let it fill up the chest. Let it lift the heart. And just silently repeat to yourself in your mind one more time. Josh home safe, immune system strong. Exhale, press the palms together, come down the center line until the thumbs come to rest at the heart. Pause here and just take a moment, drop the chin, draw the navel in, press the breath out and pause here with the breath held out. The head bowed to the heart in a gesture of humility. in a gesture of surrender. With open heart, we trust. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, turn the palms up on the knees. You can keep your eyes closed and just sit with it for a moment. You know, they say that prayer is when we talk to God Meditation is when God talks to us. So the ideal after a meditation like that with a mantra and the movement, the mudra with the hands, it'd be nice to sit in silence for a couple minutes afterwards and just kind of chill and listen. What does the universe have to tell you today? Take a deep breath in. 
Bring the left palm to the heart center, right palm over the top. Exhale. Thank you so much for joining me today for the first of our 1111 freestyle meditations. And uh, just hold them in your heart and uh, send out that healing light. Feels like it's already working. I think that in these times, it's kind of nice to be able to, I know we're all really caught up in, you know, perhaps being surrounded by the energy of fear. Hopefully some of that love in your heart can push the fear out so you're not having to worry about that as much uh, now that you've meditated and, and brought it down. But um, sometimes thinking of someone else and, um, you know, basically a stranger who you don't even know and sending out your intention to that person is the ultimate act of selflessness and a reminder of how interconnected we really are and how we really are one. And I tell you what, if this whole situation in the world right now with the virus is, uh, is not an indicator, I don't know what is, but uh, it seems to me to be a, a very clear message about how interconnected we are, how interconnected we are with nature, and how nature is actually, by this virus and by the world shutting down, nature's actually able to breathe again, even though some of the humans can't breathe again. Isn't it interesting how it attacks the lungs? And yet we've been kind of destroying the lungs of the earth for years now with pollution, cutting down the trees. The trees are the lungs of the earth. That's how the earth breathes. So just think about that. Um, and what can we do beyond this crisis to maintain some of the more positive effects that we're seeing out in nature right now. They can see the stars in Wuhan for the first time in decades. There are dolphins and swans and fish that you can see clearly in the canals in Venice because the boats are all not going right now. The tourists are not there. So, um, and think about what it could do for the ocean as well. And the, the smog, the pollution, it's a long list. So. I've dropped a lot on you in a very short time and probably gone over my time. So I'll close for today, but I will invite you to come back this evening, uh, seven o'clock Eastern time. We will do the Kirtan Kriya meditation. Love that meditation. Great meditation for calming, for clear focus. Great meditation for these times. That is a 12 minute meditation and that will be immediately followed by a chakra sound journey. I'll be doing a sound journey live on Facebook tonight for the first time. <laughs> so that'll be interesting. And then tomorrow is a 7 a.m. meditation and the 1111 meditation tomorrow on the first day of spring will be during my regular class, which is Friday morning freestyle every Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern on Facebook Live. So I'll be around a lot. I hope to see you again. And like I said, if you have any comments or if you have any requests, feel free to comment and uh, I'll get back with you. Have a great day. Take a deep breath in. Let's close with one long Satnam. Satnam, I am truth. Truth is my identity. Inhale. Sat Nam Sat Nam Have a great day.